This is an overview of the gradient button for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the gradient button into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it allows you to make a call to action button with a gradient effect in it. And also when you hover over it, it also has a nice hover effect. Let's go over the settings and I'll show you how you can set this up according to your needs. The first setting is for button text. So for example, you can change the text here to anything you want. You can link this button as you link any call to action button. If you have Elementor Pro, you can use dynamic tags. Button style, we can choose auto width or full width. So auto width is for taking the width amount of the content inside of the button and full width is for going full width of the column size. Let's choose auto width and jump into style. Over here in style, we have an option to add three different colors. The first two colors is what shows of the button when we're not hovering over it with our mouse. And the third color is the color that is introduced when we hover with our mouse. So let's see what happens. I actually hover over the button and then the third color that's actually over here, it's hidden, is introduced inside when I hover over the button. A nice website that I found for finding awesome gradients is uigradients.com. Let's click on the show all gradients button and over here we have all sorts of ideas for awesome gradients that we can use in our website. I'm going to cl click this one, Sublime Vivid. And to copy the color, you just click on the color code on the top over here. Go over here inside the color and paste your color inside. Let's get the other color and paste that inside. So for the first color, we're going to add it also as color number three. And let's see what effect we got. Look how awesome that is. Alignment, we can align our button. If it's not a full width button, we can align it however we want. Let's go for center. Border radius, so right now it's kind of rounded over here, 20 pixel radius. I'm gonna push that up all the way and now it's all the way rounded. You can also push that down all the way and it will have square corners. Padding. So right now there's 24 pixels on top and 40 from the sides. We can unlink this value and for example, I'm gonna take down the value from top and bottom and that's what we get. Inside of typography, we can play around with the typography settings, font family, font size, anything that you want to change text color and text color on hover so i got i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and i'll see you in the next video